to the uninformed, uneducated viewer, and I mean no offense or disrespect to anyone out there, but to the uninformed and uneducated viewer, the screenshot that you're looking at on the screen here of several Rochester, New York police officers and police officials from the RPD congregating. Keep that word in mind, congregating, right? To the uninformed and uneducated viewer, it may seem like a normal photo of police officers at some sort of crime scene with yellow tape just talking. However, I assure you, it is much more than that. To others who don't fall for the okie doke, right? Such as myself who have been doing this for a long, long time. This photo represents so much more. In most cases, a photo like this of several police officers congregating at a crime scene, but not just any crime scene. This is a crime scene of a Rochester, New York police officer involved shooting where a Rochester, New York police officer shot and killed a man during a traffic stop on Rochester's west side, on Massith Street, right off Child Street, actually my old neighborhood, on Rochester, New York's west side. This photo is so much more than that, because these are the moments after a police-involved shooting where police officials, in this case, again, Rochester, New York police officials, congregate and come up with their story. So again, to the uninformed, uneducated viewer, this is just a regular photo as they browse their mobile phones or mobile devices, right, of just some cops at a crime scene talking. It is a lot much more than that. It is the moment right after a police officer, in this case a Rochester, New York police officer, uh, at least one officer, details are still very slow to come out, shot and killed a man during a traffic stop. And that's very important because... In my earlier video of this incident, I talked about how Rochester, New York news media gets, you know, helps. In essence, let's call it what it is. They help the police get their story out there. I call it the spin game. So this is very interesting because these are the moments where the police get together and they come up with their story in order to justify, justify the shooting and killing of a citizen. And these are, this is what you're watching. This is what you're seeing here. So I will continue to update this incident, this story. But for now, I just want to say um, a few words. Release the body cam video. Okay, if this shooting was truly justified, let the public see Everything, and I mean everything about this traffic stop. There's some reports that there was a shooting connected to this incident earlier where the uh, person that was killed by the RPD officer or officers um, was perhaps involved in an earlier shooting. Shots were fired moments before he was killed by police. Okay, but stop the spin game and stop you know, using the Rochester, New York mainstream news media to get the spin game going. Simply put everyone, you know, uh, that has any doubts and that doesn't trust you like myself, uh, you know, shut them up. Shut them up by doing one thing. It's easy. Ready? Release the body cam video or videos from body cams, plural, of this shooting and killing of a citizen during a traffic stop by Rochester, New York police officers. Okay? Release the body cam video. 
Let's see and let the public see and let everyone see with complete transparency. Let everyone see what truly happened. Thank you for watching Davey V TV.